Humans of the Cardboard, welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. We've got a big night of news here. I'm waiting for translations for the, the first reveals for the next core set uh, called... Whoa, 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 geez. Uh, hold on. Hold on now. I know how to use a computer. Okay, I'm waiting for the translations for the first cards of Age of Overlord. It's some really cool pendulum support. I don't know what they do yet because they're not translated yet, but we'll see. The real thing I want to focus on for this quick video here, because I want to make them separate so this news didn't just die out by itself. We have the official announcement for the next Structure Deck R series in the OCG. This is huge because I'm going to take some credit for this and I'm going to say I kind of called this one. Uh, I'm going to take a dub here. Uh, I said, even though technically in the um, timeline of Structure X over the years, we would or theoretically should have had the Chaos Dragon, Light and Dark Dragon deck. Um, that would be the next uh, Structure deck to be revamped. But it's not a real arc. It's not like an actual archetype by name. Chaos support gets support like literally like three times a year just by default because it's just light and start light and dark good stuff so like it just doesn't even make sense to make a full structure deck for it which leaves us with what we have today fire king's raid i made a video last week talking about how 2023 is the year of fire in konami and this even pushes it even further so i've had a lot of people in my comment comments saying cannot wait for fire king support whether it's a generic what decks deserve support kind of video or it's me talking about like what what you know talking about the legendary duelist fire version what deck should be in there ton of people on saying fire king should be wasn't really qualified for that but i'm glad they are skipping right to this one so what do we have here? It, it's a really cool deck. I'm going to make a more in-depth video talking about what the deck already has, what they want, to, what I'd like to see most for them, just going even further in on that stuff. Before we start getting reveals here, the date in the OCG is September 9th, so we're we're a ways away, right? We, we are we're almost, uh, what is that? That's, that's a little bit less than four months away. So it's a while away. We probably won't get, re get reveals for like a whole nother month and stuff, but when we do... I'm going to be hyped for it. This is a deck that I always thought is cool. They have some cool tools. They can abuse some other tools from stuff outside of their archetypes. So we'll talk about that more in depth. But it's very, very cool. And I think the last thing that's important to note, it seems like Konami is on the path of doing one Structure Deck R series a year. I think that's fine. I'm totally cool with that. That means 2024 should have the Atlantean support. That, competitively speaking, should be really crazy. Uh, Atlanteans just have access to so much stuff. The fact that they combine with like five other water archetypes in the game already means that they just have so many different tools to pull from. So their support just needs to support them the right way. And um, obviously that could be crazy. But obviously for today we're focusing on the Fire King stuff. Very, very cool. If you're a bigger fan of Fire Island, let me... Or Fire, <laughs> Fire Kings... Uh, let me know in the comments down below where you land on this. What do you want to see? What are your just initial reactions to seeing this? Hopefully the, uh, the TCG would probably get this structure deck either early 2024 or late 2023, something like that. Um, but I'm very, very excited for this. I, I'm very happy they skipped the Chaos Dragon structure deck because it puts us a year ahead on the timeline uh, of where we could have been. And, and that's great, great news for me because the, the Chaos Dragon one just felt totally unnecessary um, for sure. So uh, yeah, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like I said, uh, I'd love to see that. Uh, stay tuned for more Yu-Gi-Oh! news. You guys know I am just bringing all the Yu-Gi-Oh! news right to your freaking faces. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.